Hey everybody, <laughs> how's it going? <clears throat> Did you hear that voice squeak? Um, uh, a recent development. I'm going through puberty. Um, hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, as you can tell, I'm cozy right now. I'm relaxing in my recliner. Uh, trying to relax. Been a rough, been a rough go of it. Um, wanted to give you guys some developments uh, on PT, the thing that we do the first of every month together. Um, so, <clears throat> long story short, we're working on getting a score to put together. Uh, been in communication with some uh, some nice people. <laughs> I, I, music's hard. And there's been some pieces of music that need to happen for the movie that I can't just, like, find. There's some things in the movie that would like to be timed to music or music timed to. I don't know how to put it, but, like, I don't want to just do royalty-free music on this thing. Uh, I don't want to do, like, free music. Uh, I want to get stuff that, that fits the movie. Uh, stuff that works in collaboration with the movie. And uh, some of that stuff is hard. Uh, to get and so I've been in communication with some wonderful people I had a moan on Instagram I complained uh, because uh, of how difficult this whole making a movie thing is and uh, in the process found some really lovely wonderful people who have uh, volunteered themselves or volunteered folks they know uh, uh, to, uh, to do some music for the movie not volunteered uh, I want to pay these people but uh, but just made it known that they're that they were interested in supplying their services and their talents to the movie. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, we're gonna have music for the movie, <laughs> and it's gonna be happening sooner rather than later. And I'm very excited about it. Um, and that's been the big thing. That's been the big thing thus far been a hard uh month been a hard two months march and april uh historically have been rough and uh the this year has uh been the same uh no difference there uh but we're making it you know we just keep moving forward sometimes it's slow but we keep moving forward and that's what's happening um other than that, there's not much to report. Next month, theoretically, hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, uh, next month's vlog will be a lot beefier as far as information regarding PT goes. Uh, I hope to have some... There's some things that are happening in my brain that I want to talk about, but I don't want to jinx it. There's still like an early development. I don't want to make anything official yet. Uh, so I'm hoping next month i'll be able to say things in official in an official capacity um but uh yes yeah, so yeah that's as far that's all i got as far as pt goes um i did want to talk about um folks who follow me and follow what i do and follow my youtube and whatever uh we'll see or might have seen that i uploaded a 53 minute long uh video this month uh i compiled all the footage that myself and my wife uh, made uh, on our trip to the Philippines. Uh, we went to the Philippines um, right before the entire world went to hell, or to a deeper lay layer of hell, right before the pandemic started. And we went to the Philippines in January of 2020, and uh, I compiled all the footage that we shot and made a artsy-fartsy little uh, movie uh, based on what I remember... Fata Morgana by Werner Herzog feeling like um, and I'm really proud of it and uh, I made that a piece celebrating uh, my family over there uh, but also celebrating over there, celebrating the country um, my feelings regarding it, my feelings towards my time there uh, you know, and it's a movie about family <laughs> um, but anyway, I made that um, uh and, and dedication to my family uh, in the Philippines, to the country of the Philippines itself. And um, without getting 
too much into real life stuff. Uh, there's been some real sadness surrounding, like, there's been some real sadness, some real sad events within the Asian community, uh, the Asian and Pacific Islander communities. It's really made me sad and really bummed me out. And uh, I just wanted to make something to show those people that I love them, that I care about them, and that, uh, I don't know. We, as people, aren't as different as some other people make us out to be. And I wanted to make something that showed that. That showed that, and that showed my love for for that community at large, but also for my family uh, in the Philippines. And so I'm really proud of this little thing. Uh, this little thing that's 53 minutes long. Um, and it's here on YouTube. So if you've seen it, thank you. Uh, but if you've not seen it, and you have an hour... I'd appreciate it if you checked it out. Um, it's intentionally slow and boring moving. Uh, and that's my filmmaking style, artistic style. So, uh, I don't know. Watching that might give you a good feeling of what PT's going to feel like. But with consistent characters and dialogue. <laughs> PT has that. Uh, Aim High Along Poe does not. Um, anyway, I'm talking way too much. I'm rambling. My brain's fried. It's been a long week. It's been a long day. It's been a long month. It's been a long two months. It's been a long year. It's been a long pandemic. <sighs> uh, but we're making it. Dang it. We're we're persisting. We're fighting the good fight. Um, I just wanted to say. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna I'm gonna spare you. So I'm just gonna say uh, thank you guys so much for watching my stuff. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and this movie. Uh, good things have been happening this month uh, around pet turtles, and good things will continue to happen. Uh, there's going to be some good news on the horizon, and I'm really excited to share that with you. And I hope you're excited to hear it. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for your continued support of me in this movie. It means a lot to me. Um, part of what's really hard about... Making a movie, making this movie at this level, this low budget of a level, but also part of what's been so hard about April and May is the, the lonely feelings, you know? Feeling like uh, you're alone in an in a epic battle, or feeling you're alone in a circumstance. And it's really hard to navigate those feelings, and uh, there's, a, there's a point this month where I just felt totally alone on this. And uh, I was lifted out of that s sad circumstance, those sad feelings, uh, by supportive and helpful and friendly people. And uh, it meant a lot to me. And, uh, I don't know, knowing, being reminded that there's people who care about this movie <laughs> and who want to see it as much as I do uh, is, is really nice. And uh, that's, that's better than trillion dollar budget million dollar budget um and so i don't know it's nice to know that there's a community there supporting you community and family is good y'all and family is uh, what you make it family is not just genes family is just uh the people that you love and that you love the people that you love and that love you i don't know family is important that's what i'm saying i talked to someone this month that said that they, they would be they loved the project they were into the idea of pet turtles they loved the idea of pet turtles they thought it was such a cool idea and that they'd be happy to score the entire movie for thirty thousand dollars <laughs> and that was the biggest kick in the nuts i've ever felt in my entire life and it happened through words through a phone via words through a phone and just like could you imagine could you imagine having thirty thousand dollars to put forward to put towards pet turtles? Could you imagine me having thirty thousand dollars that I could spend on pet turtles and not giving every penny of it to Forrest Wharton? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> like Jesus, just give it to someone who came in at uh, the eleventh inning, um, ninth inning. Uh, what's however many innings we're in a baseball game? Coming at the eleventh hour. Um, the bottom of the ninth, that's right. Coming at the 11th hour uh, and being like, $30,000. I'm like, 
you get it. Not the people that have been with me this this entire time. You. Redonkulous. Um, their music's great. Their music would have been worth $30,000. But if I had $30,000, uh, Pet Turtles would be done and another movie would have been done by now. Uh, and, uh, I don't know. This, I'm not a smart man, but I know how to spend 30000 I always feel like I would know how to spend $30,000. And uh, that just doesn't seem right. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> This movie's coming along, I promise you. Work's being made on it. Work's being done on it. Progress is being made on it. Um, there's going to be a lot more exciting news, hopefully, knock on wood, next month. But for now, we wait. I'm going to turn off this audio device. I'm going to turn on this cam- Turn off this camera. And I'm going to sit in this chair and stare at that wall for like 30 minutes. And then I'll edit this and put it on YouTube. Uh, So yeah, that's what's going on with me. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your continued support of both me and this movie. Your support has been sometimes the only thing that's gotten me through. (laughs) And so it means a lot. Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Watch uh, the stuff.